Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. During the pandemic, we quit our jobs and bought a tiny 15-foot travel trailer. Jerry's always loved the outdoors and camping, and I've just started getting used to it as a way to relieve some of my pain associated with Von Hippel-Lindau disease. So we've been leaving our home near Seattle, Washington to venture out around the state. In August of 2022, we stayed at a campground near Mount Vernon, Washington. We're Diana and Jerry. We are at Baby State Park. We just got here today, and we're gonna go watch the sunset. We're at Padilla Bay, which has access in the state park. And it's part of the Puget Sound, up in the north part. And that is Anacortes on the other side. day two of camping. No makeup. Gloria gave me a hard time about wearing makeup camping. <laughs> and then Mike said, oh, it's because she's going to vlog. <laughs> it wasn't, but I got the vlogging camera out then. Actually, I've been editing all morning. I have a video that's due to come out, so that's why I've been busy. Jerry's part of a support group. He was doing his homework and we've been hanging out. And he is now chopping some wood. We're going to have a fire and some hot dogs for lunch. This is Jerry's kitchen in the back of his truck. So when we cook outside, we use this kitchen. Not cooking inside because the weather's good. We can be outside. Here's where we're at. Cleelan, Crescent Beach. This was our trip to Crow's Butte, uh, Chelan, Conconelli, and Belfair. And now we need a sticker for where we're at, which is Bayview. This is to hope Jerry not hit his head. A tablecloth, placemats. We got the uh, canopy up in case it rains. It's supposed to rain 11 o'clock, but it never did, according to the forecast. There's the cooler for drinks. Let's see how the fire is coming. And then, yeah, I threw all the paper garbage in. Here we go. This is what we do when we go camping. So it's been an exciting day. We went to the bank. And the grocery store? We didn't go to any, just any Hague. grocery store. We went to Hagen, to fancy Hague. grocery store. So we could pay too much. So we could pay more for our groceries than we normally would. I have corn, chain warm on top. Oh, but what is on the corn? Look what I found at the fancy grocery store. Street corn seasoning. Ooh, and I got a gluten-free bagel I'm gonna use as a bun, because I never get buns. And Jerry is frying up the hamburgers. I'm having a turkey burger and I'm he is having... I am so sorry. He is grilling hamburgers. In and the turkey or burgers. Or in the Northwest, we're barbecuing. Yes, in the Northwest, they're barbecuing. In other parts of the country, this is not barbecue. This is grilling out. Yes, and so he that. saw a black squirrel. Yes. An East Coaster. The East Coast, West Coast squirrel rivalry continues. You've got this little so grill that you bring with you? Pit? You've got a fire pit, but you bring a barbecue with you. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't cook in the fire pit if there's a burn ban. There isn't a burn ban now, but this is actually convenient. Also, should it start pouring down rain? It's been yeah. dribbling all day, thus we're underneath the canopy. Yeah. But also, if it rained, it'd be good to have this. Okay, so and it's got, propane. I got, I got this for like 20 bucks. Yeah, I thought it was Fred Meyer or a grocery store yeah, or something. It was on sale. Yeah, I, I thought one, we were at Fred Meyer. I, I paid less for this one than I did Almost okay. the exact same one a little tiny 30 thing. years ago. Yep. 
So you probably get 30 years out of this one. Yeah, well I still got the other one. The regulator went bad. And you never throw anything away. Well, I'm gonna see if I can fix it so that it goes in my truck camping setup. Sometimes there's burn bands in my truck camping too. You're gonna need multiple setups. Yeah. So uh, we're going to the estuary center thing. Not the aviary. Not an aviary. I thought it was an aviary, but it's not. It's an estuary. I have been to an estuary thing before. I think it's called estuary. Oh. Okay. That is on the estuary. What's an estuary? And there's a technical definition. Something about having a fresh water supply, one or more, going into a marine ecosystem where there's brackish water. And it ends up being like really fertile. fertile. That water is out. This is where they keep the T-Rex. Yeah, some of them are right. If they come off really easy. These are humongous. Oh yeah, there's the view. Here's the view of the mud flat. Gigantic. And if you look <laughs> if you look really close, there's a person right there. Well, we've been packing up to go home. And I was just thinking, if I was thinking about staying at this park, what would I want to know? Because we were trying to look up the next park we're going to, and we were having a hard time finding information that was vital to where the good camp spots were and all that. So you got, what information would you want to know, Jerry? Quarters or uh, tokens for the showers, because Washington State Parks don't have a consistent not consistent. Method. I, mean, they don't, I didn't realize that there's also parks that you have to use quarter. Also, the office hours are what? They're open like two hours a day. So if you need to actually talk face to face with somebody, that's pretty limited. The sites are a little bit smaller and not totally private. We are on the back row, so we've got these bushes between us, but there aren't wild shrubberies between everybody. Pretty good trees. There's a lot of wildlife here. Check out the video here, which is another one of our trips, and a video down here that YouTube picked out just for you. Hi, this is Di. I'm with Jerry. I'm glad you're not with some other old man. We are at Belfair State Park. We are not at Belfair State Park. We are at Belfair State Park. No. We're... Again, I didn't.